In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four financial options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added a paper which is folded from the top right. And when I click, it will reveal the first information. I have just added a arrow and with the icon and the text. And here on the right side, you can add your detail uh, headline and the uh, text here. And then this goes to the second with a different color arrow, the third one and the fourth option. And apart from this, I have added the gold currency or gold coin. When I click, the gold currency will appear here. And apart from this, I have just made another tight, another slide with the same, but with single color only. You can see here. And when I click, it will show you the gold currency. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill. Go to insert shapes, select a rounded corner rectangle and I'm drawing maybe this much size or if you want increase or decrease according to your requirement you can change it now you can see this orange point I'm just dragging it outside so it becomes a very less curved and shape outline I'm making no outline and shape fill I'm going to select white color here and I'm going to press ctrl D you can see here let me just put this side here and I'm going to cut the paper from the extreme top right. For that, go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle, maybe this much size, and you can just rotate it using this circular arrow. How much you want to cut it? For example, I want to cut this much size. So before I'm going to cut, I'm just going to make a copy of this one. So select this, press the control or shift key. Or you can see here, let me just select this one and press the hold the shift key and click on this shape and press control D to duplicate it and keep it aside. Now I'm going to select this shape first and then I'm going to select by holding the shift key, this shape, go to format, merge shape, and you can see here I can just simply say intersect so only this part is there for this also I'm going to make it no outline and I'm going to select this and this and merge shape again you can just say subtract so that part remains and the top part it's deleted now I'm just going to delete this shape I'm going to bring this one in the center and then select this and you can just change the color whichever color you like maybe i'll just select this color go to rotate flip vertical and then flip horizontal and bring this to front and just put it on the top so you can see here let me just zoom and see whether we have put it properly or not if not you have to adjust align it properly so it looks perfect the next step is to add the arrows for that go to insert shapes and from the block arrows select this arrow left draw this arrow and you can just increase the width by holding or dragging it outside maybe this much size i need i'm just going to keep it here and shape outline i'm going to make no outline right mouse click go to format shape shadows effect shadows i'm going to select from inner this one which is the inside right can you see this one and then you can come and change the color to any gradient color for example now when you select the gradient fill by default it will be four stops so i have deleted the two stops and i'm just going to use two and you can give some different colors for example let me just go to more color and I can just select any light color. For example, I want to use orange and the type I'm going to select a linear and I want the darker color to be on this side and here I'm just going to select a lighter color. So you have to use the color combination dark and light so you can see here. And then likewise, I'm just going to 
add four more before that I'm just going to add the option here I'll just say zero one increase the size make it bold make the color to white center align and put it on top of this here at the corner let me just increase the size more so this is my option one I'm going to highlight these two and press ctrl G to group it and ctrl D to duplicate so this is my second option third option and fourth option so here I can just go and give the right spacing for example I will select this one two three four and go to format align and just say distribute vertically so it gives equal spacing here all right then just change the text the numbers this is three and this is four so if you want you can just go and change the color as per your requirement now I'm going to add the icons here to add the icons you can go to insert icons and this feature is available I think only in office 365 version and if you don't find the icons then you can go to this particular website called www.denounprojct.com so you can just visit this website and can download of free icons from there the noun project.com so anyway I'm not going to this particular site I'm just going to insert icons and I'm just going to select any four icons which are icon which is relevant to your work just select those icons and the height and width I'm going to make it as 0.4 and just bring this here I'm just going to bring one by one you can see here choose the relevant icons otherwise there's no point if you choose the wrong icons there so these are the just for the tutorial I've just used the random icons here and then you can add the text here let me just go to insert text box and I will just say text one again choose the right font of your choice so I just going to place exactly here I can reduce the size a little bit maybe 14 is enough control D bring it here and then just align it properly and make sure that this is all these are properly aligned so I'm just going to select this by holding the shift key go to format align left and the icons also you can you need to align it properly select the icons alignment is very important in the presentations go to format align I'll just say left so uh, I have added the text now let's add the detailed text on the left side now let's add the detailed text here first of all go to insert text box and I will just say your title goes here again reduce the size make it bold and use the color which you have used for the arrows you can just change the color according to your requirement then I can just go and add more detailed text here add detail text here this is your okay so this is this is my detailed text I will reduce the size and I can just change to a light gray color and put it here and I'm going to select this press control before that format align left and control G control D to duplicate and sorry just select this and put it here so this is my second text this is my third text 
and this is my fourth text and again you have to just align it properly align left so you can see here almost our design is over and if you want you can just add your main title here the headline headline again I will just center align century gothic and increase the size make it bold now let's add the the gold coins or the gold currency here to add the gold currency go to insert shapes select a uh, uh, oval shape hold the shift key so that you get the perfect oval shape here shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give a gradient fill for this so let me just select three stops the first stop i'm going to give some darker color and the type i'm going to select linear and here i'm just going to select a light gold color and here i'm just going to select somewhat dark color here okay and then i'm just going to effects go down you see the 3d rotation i can just select either of this maybe let me just select off axis one top you can see and i'm going to the 3d format and the 3d format depth i'm just going to increase the depth can you see the depth now and then you can give more effect here can you see whatever the best one we will choose it so this looks good and i can just use this particular option and the 3d rotation for example if i just put like this it comes something more flat so i'm just going to select this put it here or anywhere press ctrl d put it on top you can see here something like this again ctrl d so you can just make how much you want and then i'm just going to select this all of this format align left you can see here and straight does not look is not looking good so i'm just selecting one and i'm moving out either left or right so you can see here i'm just selecting the way i want and then once this is done i'm just going to select all press ctrl g and ctrl d to duplicate and put it here and add few more ctrl d and i'm going to put it here again ungroup this press ctrl shift g to ungroup and i don't want this much i'm just going to remove this much part and i can just select some of here ctrl d and put it here and press ctrl g and likewise you can just change the way you want the coins or the currency to appear you can see here so currency is ready and if you want you can just add one more on the top so let me just select one ctrl d to duplicate it bring this here go to effects and and the 3d rotation i'm just going to select this one can you see and let me just rotate this and i'm just going to increase the depth and change the color of this material so i should able to see you can see here and you can just put it here and if you want some dollar sign or whatever you can just add the dollar sign there so this is the design part so let's do the animation now it's uh, more tilted towards the bottom so let me just uh, arrange something like this can you see here you can just change the way and if the shadows looks too much darker also you can just change the shadow effect also here you can see but the shadow effect doesn't look maybe this shadow looks good all right so let's do the animation now i'm going to close the background the format properties go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the arrow first 
add animation go to more entrance effect and i'm going to select stretch click ok and effect i will just say from right so it comes something like this and then at the same time the text should come for this also i'm just going to select this animation painter click on this and instead of right you have to just select left and this should happen after previous so if i play you can see here it comes like this and then this icon should appear for that i'm going to give more entrance effects select basic zoom click ok this should happen after previous and then the text the text i'm going to give the same effect animation painter click on this one and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this simple right so i'm just going to select this again animation painter click on this and then i'll just select this animation painter so with the animation painter you can save a lot of time on doing the animation so let me just select this and I click on this so likewise you can see here within a fraction of seconds we have completed the second also likewise you need to do the the rest of this one now i have added all the animation let me just play it for you so it comes something like this then the option two option three and then option four now let's do the animation for this so for example you have to just group it if it is not group i have to group all press ctrl g to group it make sure that it is all grouped and then I'm just going to select this one. It is already grouped. And then I'm just going to give a wipe effect. For that, go to wipe. You can see here. And then this also should be wipe effect. And this should happen after previous. And I'm going to select this. And I'm going to say fly in, fly in from top. And this should happen after previous and then this also wipe effect I will say after previous so let me just show you the animation when I click you can see here the first the second click third click fourth click and then that's it That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.